Thank you for joining me today. It is essential for a Christian to establish a relationship with Jesus Christ. In the believer's heart, the Holy Spirit is like a fire that should be visibly burning within us. Those who witness, those who minister, and the truth we preach ought to be filled with fire. God says, is it not my word like a fire? A believer must have the Holy Spirit alive and vibrant with inside of him. Do you remember Moses in the scripture while tending his father's livestock there on Mount Sinai? He noticed a bush that was gloriously on fire, but it burnt not. It was certainly something to be seen as it burned. The fire, it, it crackled and it popped and the flames licked upwards as the supernatural flame was fanned by the winds of the Holy Spirit. Moses, after witnessing and encountering such a thing, would never be the same after that day. The Bible says his face gleamed like the sun. In fact, his visage, what he looked like, was so radiant that everyone who saw him was deeply impacted by it. John the Baptist, the forerunner, the prophet that ran before Jesus Christ, he prophesied. He said, indeed, I baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me, he is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Acts chapter 2 verse 3 it speaks of the fulfillment of this prophecy the Holy Spirit Christ the flame of God came down upon a hundred and twenty obedient followers that day the heart became so noticeably filled with God's presence that it began to impact all those that were around them in their city and even afar off The Holy Spirit fire is promised to all believers. In fact, it is a gift of God to you. Supernatural fire which burns out sin and unbelief in our lives. Don't be afraid of this fire. Draw near to it. It won't harm you. No, get real close to it and hear God's voice speaking out through it to you. This fire will purge you and cause you to grow strong in faith. You will have purpose because of this fire. And that purpose is found in Jesus Christ alone. For a life filled with fire, Jesus stated, would go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Once both men and women experience their filling and their commission by God. The gospel of Jesus Christ will bloom out from them. From the scripture, they were compelled to share what the fire of God was burning with inside of their heart. I have a question for you, how about you? Have you spoken to your neighbor lately about the gift of eternal life that you have received? Have you told your co-workers that they too can have this divine fire to burn with inside their life? A fire that pops and crackles and yet does not consume, but yet it causes you to live a life so close to God that it's holy and it's pure. Can you dare to draw close near to this fire? I want to encourage you today to fan the flame of this gracious gift of God inside of your life.